Hi guys and welcome to a new video, today I have Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo with me and today we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS Android 7.1.1 Android Nougat for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo. So I will uh, split this video into two parts, so in the first part we are going to take a look in, uh, at this ROM here, so what does it include, what are the bugs and so on, and in the second part of this video we are going to take a look how to install this to your Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo. So right, so let's start with the review of this ROM now. So this one here is one of the first uh, Android Nougat builds for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo and because of that it has some bugs um, on board. So just like the SIM card is not working, the camera is also not working, the back camera is not working, the front camera is working though, the flashlight is also not working as you can see here. Um, and right, so the GPS is also not working. So these are the three main bugs of this ROM. And right, so let me confirm you first that this one runs Android Nougat. As you can see, it says Android 7.1.1, and the device which I'm holding right now is the SMN7505. Um, and right, so it's based on Lineage OS 14.1. And right, so let's take a look what this ROM includes now. So the uh, ROM is quite light, you don't get that many apps on board, so as you can see I have quite a lot of apps here, but I've got all these apps with installing the G apps, but we are moving into that later on. So you get the audio FX on board, the browser, the calculator, the camera app of course, which is not working, um, the contacts app, the downloads app, email app, file manager app, gallery of course, the messaging, the music app and the phone app together with the uh, settings and the sound recorder app. So these are all the apps which you got on board, so they are quite less. And for example the Play Store and all other apps which you see right now, uh, for that you need to install the uh, G apps, but as I said uh, earlier we need to, ins uh, we are moving into that later on. And right, so the ROM is quite light bait and now let's take a look what features this ROM includes. So let's go into the settings for it. You can see you got this um, pixel style settings app with this dark uh, header here, also the notification panel looks uh, quite dark compared to the old Android versions like Android 7.0. Um, in the display options we have something like um, display size where you can uh, change the whole DPI of the whole system so you can make it quite small here. You can see everything has got smaller now, the notification panel is smaller, you have more space as you can see here but also the uh, the fonts has got smaller, um, also the icons here and now we have much more space to add more shortcuts for example. It's uh, quite funny here, quite fun to play with it. You can also make it really big here and you will see that everything has got bigger here. Um, also on the home screen now we have less space here but every each icon has got bigger here. Right, so let's drag it here in the middle here. This one is probably the best one. You can do the same with the font here, so you can make it, you can scale the font, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller here, and yeah. So now let's go back. Um, of course, you get starting stuff like not like notification sounds and all that things. But now let's move on to the memory here. So the RAM usage. You can see that it uses like. 38% um, of the whole RAM, so it uses like uh, 720 megabytes of the whole RAM. So the Note 3 Neo has 2 gigabytes of RAM and it uses like 40%. If you play games with it, it will probably use like the half of the RAM, which is quite okay for a 2 gigabytes. Um, for a 2 gigabytes RAM device running on Android Marshmallow uh, uh, on uh, Nougat. And yeah, you also get something like buttons here, so you can change the uh, actions for each button. You can also enable or disable the backlights button of the hardware keys at the bottom here. So let's disable them because they annoy me. 
and right so for example you can change the actions of the home button so you can disable or enable to wake the um, phone with the home button so if we disable it here you can't wake the home with the home button anymore so you need to press the pow power button in order to uh, in order to unlock the phone or wake the phone and right so we get standard stuff here which you also get on uh, on lollipop on AOSP lollipop ROMs of the Note 3 Neo. Yeah, of course you get all the standard stuff which I also uh, already told you, but you also get something like status bar. So here you can um, customize the status bar. You can enable or disable the status bar icons at the top here. So if you don't want to see the Wi-Fi icon at the top here, you can just disable it. And yeah, so quite nice to have this feature. You can enable or disable quick pull down as you can see if I pull down a notification panel from the right side it will directly go, uh, get into the toggle area here. If you disable if, if you disable it it will get to the notifications area first and if you uh, scroll down twice it will get to the um, toggle area here. And right you can also change the battery uh, status style so you can make it portrait. In my opinion this one looks quite better. And right, so you of course get all that starter stuff, which you also get on any other AOSP based ROM. So this is pretty much it. The performance is quite okay. It isn't as fast as the uh, the Lollipop based ROMs for the Samsung Galaxy Note 3 Neo. So if you open an app, you will probably need to wait one or two seconds for example if we go into the settings here you can see okay this one here was quite fast but sometimes it takes it takes its time sometimes so it isn't that fast always and right so now let's move on to the second part here to install this so to install this ROM you need two files and you also need TWRP installed on your device already so I have already installed TWRP on my device I have all the version of an old version of TWRP but uh, this one will work also so you can use TWRP version 2.8 or any other version uh, from the from the TWRP 3.0 lineup and uh, right so you need to the to download the two files the one of one of the two files is the ROM itself and the other file is the, are the G apps um, I have provided both links in the description of this video so you can download them and right so the thing you need to do first is to power off your device so now let's do that here and as you can see this was quite fast now you need to press the volume up button and the home button and the power button at the same time so let's do this and you need to release these buttons after you see this boot logo So here we are in the TWRP menu or in the recovery here. Um, the first thing you need to do is to go to the wipe option here and do a wipe. So let's do this. After that you need to go back and go to the install option and install the file I've provided in the description of this video. So just press on it and uh, swipe the flash here. And yeah, now you just need to wait. So as you can see the uh, flashing process of the uh, ROM is completed now and now you, we need to install the G apps. So you need, you need to download the open G apps, the uh, G apps for Android 7.1 and right after that you need to copy them to your device of course and then you can just swipe to flash. So this one could also take about 5 minutes, maybe even longer. Again, you just need to wait. So you can see that the uh, flashing process of the GAPS is also completed now. Now you can do a wipe again, but you actually don't need to. Um, 
now he can just tribute to uh, to your system and if he asks if you, uh, whether he wants to install whether you whether he wants to root your device or not just say no don't install and now you need to wait to uh, until this phone boots up into android nougat So as you can see now the phone booted up and now we can just set up our device here so let's do that. And here we are so you can see you got two launchers on board so you get the Google Now launcher which you get with the uh, G apps and you also get a triple Huey launcher which you get together with the ROM so let's use a triple Huey launcher here say always and here we are so now we have installed android nougat android 7.1.1 to the samsung galaxy note 3 neo so this was my installation video and the review video of uh, uh, lineage os 14.1 on for the samsung galaxy note 3 neo if you like the video give a thumbs up if you didn't like the video give a dislike and don't forget to subscribe and peace out